What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Big and Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich and Fun for Five. That's right. It's Thursday. It's another Fun for Five. Is it another Master System game? No. It's Atari VCS Day. Come on. You know how this rolls. So, we were going through the Atari VCS store, and where last we left the store itself. We were still in A, and we are now on to the Atari vaults. So there's vault number one, and there's vault number two so far. So, we're going to jump right in to Atari vault number one, and because it's the Atari vaults, and you've got all these classic games, you know what we're going to do. We're going to be rocking this bad boy right here. Yeah. That's right. So, Let's uh let's hop on in and see what's going on on the Atari Vault Volume 1 on the Atari VCS 800. Let's go. All right. You know how this rolls. We're here in the box. We're uh we're going to look around at some of the games. Uh, what I think we're going to do first is we're actually going to um, select the um, the different the different games. How do we? What's the? Uh, how do you change? Change, an, choose an action and then okay, switch between our current list by pressing this button. Okay, go. All right, so we can change the uh, the list, the list of of games by changing this. All right, cool. So what we're going to do is uh, first we're going to take a look at the games themselves, just like, hey, what do we got? What, what can we play? And then, um, yeah, I'm going to pop into some. I mean, you can see the first one right here is Asteroids on the 2600. You know what's happening, but not yet. So we got Atari Video Cube, Backgammon, Basic Math, Basketball, Blackjack, Bowling, Brain Games, Breakout. That might be a cool thing to test the, uh, the little spinny on this. Uh, Canyon Bomber, uh, Casino, Centipede, Championship, Soccer, Circus Atari, Code Breaker, Combat, Combat 2. That definitely will probably have to be checked out. Crystal Castles, Demons of Diamonds, Desert Falcon, Dodgem, Double Dunk, Fatal Run, Flag Capture, Football, Golf, Gravatar, Hangman, Haunted House, Home Run, Human Cannibal, Maze Craze, Millipede, Miniature Golf, Missile Command, Night Driver, Off the Wall. Actually, I don't think I've ever heard of. Let's see what this uh, this looks like here on the back. It's kind of cool. All right, well, that's neat. All right, Outlaw, Pong Sports, Quad Run, Race, Radar Lock, Real Sports, Baseball, Basketball, Boxing, Football, Soccer, also called Football, Tennis, Volleyball, Return to Haunted House, which is kind of cool. See what this one. Oh, uh, it doesn't have anything on the back. All right, Save Mary, Secret Quest. That looks kind of cool. Does it have anything on the back? Ooh, yes, yes it does. Looks like kind of like Berserk meets a uh, adventure. All right, Sentinel, Sentinel, Skydiver, Slot Machine, Slot Racers, Space War, Sprint Master, Star Raiders, Starship, Steeplechase, Stellar Track. Street Racer, Stunt Cycle, Submarine Commander, Super Baseball, Super Breakout, Super Football, Surround, Sword Quest, Earth World, Fire World, and Water World, but not the mythical Air World. I don't think it ever actually got finished. Uh, Tempest, Video Checkers, Video Chess, Video Pinball, which is awesome. Uh, Warlords, which is awesome. Yards of Revenge, which is awesome. 3D Tic-Tac-Toe, Concentration, Adventure, and Air Sea Battle, which is the game from all those many years ago that I was playing with my cousins. But there is more. There's arcade games. Arcade Asteroids, Asteroids Deluxe, Black Widow, Centipede, Crystal Castles, Gravitar, Liberator, Lunar Lander, Major Havoc, Millipede, Missile Command, Pong, Red Baron, which is cool, Space Duel, Sprint, Super Breakout, Tempest, and Warlords in the arcade, which is kind of cool. That's, uh, that's pretty neat. Um, so I think, I don't know, for this, this fun for five, I mean, my heart belongs to the 2600, 7800 series, because that's where, what I played, 
Uh, so we might, we might just stick it to that. Um, you know, I, I had to hit the button. I had to. I mean, come on. Who doesn't, who doesn't like a little asteroid? Now, I will say here too, um, as I'm playing uh, asteroids on on the stick, it feels just like I got a 2600 stick in my hand. Um, I would expect, to be honest, no less um, of the uh, Atari name uh, to stick a classic joystick in my hand and have it feel like I've got an Atari joystick in my hand. I will say though, the action is a little loose and not uh, nearly as fast on the reaction uh, to the asteroids and lost two whole lives um, while talking and it's shameful and way better at this game than that for that. Oh, and there's a little bit of that motion. Uh, I don't like the I don't like the fact that there's there's errant motion. I did not intend to do that. I like my turret in, please. I don't like I don't like messing around. Oh, Got my teleport action too. Pretty neat. Come on now. All right. Yeah, and you get knocked out right away. That's what happens when you move. You got to turn. All right. Let's uh go to main menu. All right. I backed you out there. Let's do uh. I know it's a, it's, it's going to be a two player game, but let's do combat two. See what it looks like. Alright, cool. Alright, cool, that's neat. I guess those are trees. Yeah, it's, it's meant to be, it's meant to be two players. Oh, you can go into the water and get stuck. That's kind of cool. And you can go down. I wonder if you can hit him in the, in the base. Let's see. Oh. Need to get closer. Oh. Yeah, got him. Alright, cool. Drop out to the main menu again. Alright. Oh, Desert Falcon. I know I I must have read it, but it didn't didn't hit me that oh it is actually Desert Falcon. Which is kinda neat. Um let's try this off the wall thing. I was just like, uh, kaboom. We have to like catch things. Oh, hello. Or is it breakout? Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's, it's like breakout. Oh, do I have to like keep hitting up so I can try to get to the monster up top? Let's see. Whoops. Whoa! That was really fast. Well, that's pretty neat. Yeah, so it's like a breakout clone that I think you have to hit the. Let's try to let's try to hit the. Oh yeah, yeah, you gotta hit the enemy up top. Wow, that was crazy. Look at that score keep going. Nice. Alright. So that was, that's fun. Let's bounce out. Uh, quad run. Yeah, we're real sports games. Um, anything else that's interesting to me? I mean, you can play a whole bunch of these games for hours and hours and hours. Um, oh, here's, here, alright, let's, let's do the test. Let's do the test, alright? Warlords. Alright. Alright, so you can absolutely. There we go. You can absolutely use the twist knob as the paddle. Let's see if I can get him. Alright, Green, you're in trouble. Ha! 
<laughs> Goodbye. Blue guy is hard. Oh. Gotta cat gotta gotta save your flank here. Ooh. I missed it. I missed that rebound. Going after purple. That's okay. I'll let him. I'll let him take him out. There it is. There it is. So he's done. There we go. There we go. Get yourself. There it is. There it is. Oh yeah. There it is. Got him. All right, that was cool. So what do we got here? All right. So you know what? Let me uh. Let me go. Let me go to the the arcade, and we'll try we'll try an arcade thing. Asteroids Deluxe, Black Widow. Um, what was that? There was a, there was one that was kind of cool, right? Um, yeah, let's do red. Let's do Red Baron. Let's try Red Baron out. Let's see what's going on. All right. So credits. Do so I have to do this? Start. No. Oh, yes. Nice. So I get the simulated vector graphics going on. Guns overheated. Can't can't quite hit the dirigible. There it is. There's some anti uh, the tanks. Nice. So it does it does definitely feel like the arcade, which is neat. Oh, and the dirigibles are starting to fire shrapnel or some kind of projectile at us. Oh, these guys are firing from down below. Planes are back. The dirigibles are there. Ah, oh, yeah. Getting them, shooting them down, shooting them down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, where? Are we? This is pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Yeah, get some more. Get some more planes here. There we go. I guess these guys. There we go. Nice. All right. It's true. Let's do this. They, they fly way too fast. There it is. All right. So he got me. That's okay. All right. So that was pretty neat. That was definitely that was definitely pretty cool. So we're gonna go back to the main menu, and then I think we're just gonna bounce out to the wrap up and talk a little bit more about this. So let's do that. So there you have it folks. Got a little bit of a taste of the vault, the Atari vault on the VCS. We went through just about, I think, I think we did hit every single game, at least naming them. Uh, of what was in the vault and that comes free with every Atari VCS. So if you buy the Atari VCS um, In the store as soon as you register your console you get that so you get all those games, which is kind of cool I mean, yeah, I mean someone somewhere could be like, oh, yeah, you get all these packing games I mean, That's Yeah, yeah, I guess I guess I mean But you can get them anywhere you can get them in a flashback over 
over there in the corner. Or you can get them right behind me. I've got most of them. Uh, obviously, I don't have the arcade machines, but they're emulated there on the Legends Ultimate Arcade, too. So, I mean, you kind of get these everywhere. But it is neat. It's a cool presentation. I like the fact that it's got the, you know, the the uh, three rendered cabinet thing and the and the box rendering with the artwork on the back and the, that kind of thing. It's it's neat. It's a neat presentation. But um, it's all about the games, right? You know, and the selection is ni- his selection is nice. I mean, you got your heavy hitters. You know, you don't have the the uh, the the big the big Kahuna uh, in this vault. Um, you know, that being. Uh, any of the the licensed stuff, you know, no Pac-Man, uh, no Space Invaders, um, you know, none of that kind of stuff. But the you know Space Invaders in, is probably the big, the big one, right? If that was a get, you want you want to get one of them in the vault to play. You want Space Invaders in, in the vault, um, you know, just just as a name recognition kind of thing. It's you know, like, and I I personally like the twenty six hundred version over a lot of other versions, maybe even including the arcade. I know it might be sacrilege to some, but that's what I grew up with, so it's what I like. Um, but I know it's it's licensing and like the kind of stuff. It's what Atari has on hand, right? This is what is what we're seeing. So, but it doesn't mean that there's any less great games. As Asteroids is in there, Yards Revenge is in there. It's awesome. You know, like you get you get all the you know you get all the Atari greats in there in the volume one, and there's even more in volume two. Dot dot dot, which we'll see later. But for now, did I find the fun? Yes. There it is. There is the fun, folks. It has been found inside of Atari Vault 1 on the Atari VCS in the Atari VCS store marathon, let's call it. Um, so, yes, we, we definitely we definitely see. Now, I need to learn the lesson. Stop wearing black t-shirts in front of the giant key light I have in front of me so I get washed out. <laughs> look, I look like, a, like some kind of... I don't know. I'm about to get sunburned or something like that. So, 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 uh, washed out here. Um, uh, but anyway, so like I said, the fun was found and, you know, and it, and it comes with the console. So it's pretty good. Um, obviously, uh, as I get out rid of all that stuff, um, <clears throat> highlights, you know, asteroids is a highlight for me. Video pinball is a highlight for for me. Warlords, if we can get enough people in, you get enough of those classic controllers and everything. You can do the cool uh, twist knob thing. It's it's an excellent, excellent party game. So I, I love Warlords. Um, you know, that's pretty cool. I like the arcade stuff. Red Baron was really, really fun to play. I'd, I'd probably play a high score challenge on that. You know, if somebody, like, you know, challenged me to, you know, a high score on Atari uh, VCS 800, I, I would, I'd probably be down for that. Um, you know, and, then, and there's so many other things to explore. Like, I, I don't think I've ever played Save Mary, um, that breakout clone thing. What the heck was the name of that game? Checking, checking, uh, checking names of games. It was the game where you have to walk off the wall. Um, you know, that, that was a cool one, um, that I would check out. I'd check out Quad Run. I've never played that one before. Um, I've played Radar Lock. That's a pretty cool game. I, I never played Return to Haunted House. So I, you know, I've played Haunted House before it, but not Return to Haunted House. So I would definitely check it out. See what that's like, Sentinel, Secret Quest. I'd play all those. <clears throat> for sure, for sure. So, but um, but what do you guys think, you know, of, of the vault? Um, are there Atari VCS 800 owners out there that say, yes, I have the vault, but, you know, was the fun found for you or not? I don't know. Who knows? Um, but for me, it was. Because, you know, these games are great. It's nice to have them collected. And it's nice to just have them there. No matter where the... Where I go with the VCS, I know that this collection and, well, eventually every single other game that's on the store will follow me when I take my VCS somewhere. So, I mean, it's, it's cool. It's very cool. So, with all that being said, it's time for the Friends. There they are. Check them out. Oh, would be Pete in the Friends list. He's got an Atari VCS 800. Um, actually, he might have the 400. I'm not sure. He's got an Atari VCS. But he has those content on his channel, and he talks about it all the time. So go over there and check him out. Check out some cool videos and see what he has to say and his opinions on, on those games and that kind of stuff um, while you're waiting for the next Fun for Vibe for, for me. Next week, of course, we're going to take a week off of the Atari VCS uh, uh, period because it's the Intellivision Amico takeover while I'm on vacation. So 
Uh, if you're coming back next week for some more Atari VCS fun, just wait a week, and then we'll be on to the next game, which of course is Atari VCS Vault 2, so check that out. Um, and uh, if you don't want to talk about any of that stuff, and you want to talk about Evercade, like the new cartridge that just got announced today, Revolution Collection Number 1, I think, I think it's I think it's called Revolution. Um, but if it's not called Revolution, then it's something else with an R. But anyway, that collection should be kind of cool. I'm all about it. I want to hear more about it. I want to learn more about it. Um, I heard that there's really great games on there, some RPGs in there, um, and every single one of those games, if you added them up, complete in box, is over $4,500 worth of games in a cartridge that are going to wind up selling for under 20 bucks. That's kind of cool. So, who's talking about that? Of course, OABP, Retro Kill Dash 9, they're talking about that. I just talked about it. And these guys here, over across the pond, of course, talk about that too. It's the other friends. Boom. There they are. You know, everyone um, from It's Much More, James, Rogers, all over the place on the uh, Facebook fans group. Check them out. Talk some cool stuff. Talk about this new collection that dropped. Should be very cool. Very excited. It's going to be coming out next year. I'm going to hear. It's going to be one of the first in 2022. So, so check that out. All right, cool. That brings us back, back to us here at Bacon Ice Cream Productions. Of course, we thank you so much for watching. On the way out, can you just hit the red button? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, help us grow. Help us get over that 500 mark so we can celebrate again with you guys. Because you guys know, every 100 mark until we hit that 1K mark, we're going to celebrate with you guys by giving away something awesome. Speaking of, if uh, some Master, master System peeps are here, uh, I forgot. Uh, the, the winner of the Master, master System Game uh, Challenge, or uh, the Master System Game Giveaway, um, graciously gave them back to Bacon Ice Cream Productions because they lost their Master System or their Master System like was caught in some terrible accident or something. Um, either way, they were generous, very generous, and gave them back to us, and so we're going to redo that giveaway very soon. So the 400 giveaway will return while we wait for the 500 giveaway, which is cool. But anyway, we're gonna have, we're gonna hook up the original winner with a with a shirt. It's on it's on order. Um, I've got to order it and then relay it to him. So it's gonna take a couple of weeks now that I'm on vacation, um, as of t like two days from now. So, but it's coming. But we're gonna hook you up. All right, cool. So, all that being said, thanks so much again for watching. We'll catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich. And we will see you later. Take it easy, guys. Team RTSC.BaconIceCream.com